It's Judgment Day. I got nine bottle kills, and we're going to determine whether or not they're worth buying again. Welcome back to another episode of Neat Bourbon. My name's Tanner, and today we're talking about bottle kills, and I have nine empties that I'm going to decide whether or not they're worth buying again. At least for me. You might feel differently, and let me know in the comments down below. Do you agree with what I'm about to say? Anyways, we are going to start this round off with, with the Whistle Pig 10 Year Rye coming in at 100 proof, 10 years age stated. I want to say this bottle retails right in that like 100 ish, $110 price point. Um, Honestly, I think that the juice inside this bottle is pretty good. If you are a rye drinker and that like $110 rye is in your wheelhouse, I think of the age dated ryes that I've had, you know, um, I think this one actually is kind of solid. Um, would I buy this one again? Uh, not immediately. Um, I would buy it again, but it's not something that... I'm going to be going and running out and need to replace. These are pretty findable. I definitely think this is worth having at least once. Um, and then from there, I think you can kind of decide. Uh, I think like the rye profile. This, and, and to be fair, this, did, this bottle did take me like a year and a half to two years to kill. This one was kind of lingering for a while. Sometimes those ryes just like don't get off your shelf fast enough. Um, Anyways, so yeah, Whistle Pig 10 year rye. Overall, I think it's great. It's definitely a rye forward profile. So it's a great rye drinker's rye is would, would be a little short and quick on this. Anyways, Whistle Pig 10. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, that was dangerous. Knocked the bottle over, almost broke it. Larceny Barrel Proof. This one here is the C921. Would I buy this C921 again? No, but would I buy Larceny Barrel Proof again? Yes. So, uh, you know, Larceny Barrel Proofs are the weeded match bill. They come out of Heaven Hill. These are fantastic bottles. You get some good peanut in them, like that peanut chocolatey, you know, profile there. I do dig in these bottles, and you can pick up a little bit of oak. There are amazing values around that, like, you know, $60 price point for a cast strength, you know, weeded offering from a tier one distillery. So um, the reason why I wouldn't buy the C921 again is because one, it's like two and a half years old at this point, And these are released three times a year. So my thought process is I will most certainly be buying another one. I'll just be buying the most recent batch because it's way easier to find. Um, and I haven't found one of these yet where it's like, oh my God, I need to have like 10 of like this batch because it is like outrageously better than all the other batches that I've ever had. These, uh, for the most part, at least for recent years, have all been solid values. So Larceny Barrel Proof, Batch C921, not going to rebuy this batch, but will buy the current batch whenever I go into the store next. So, all right. Bottle number three. This is the Bardstown Discovery Series 7. Um, again, like this bottle's, yeah, probably not going to be buying another Disco 7. Did I like this bottle? Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Honestly, the further down I got in the bottle, the more I liked this one. Uh, I thought that the rye spices really shined through on the palate. And then the finish, honestly, I got a little bit of strawberry on it. You know, not cherry, it was a distinct strawberry, which I really did enjoy. Um, was able to run through like the last third of this bottle like pretty quickly over like the last like month. Um, so I really was able to enjoy this one with a bunch of friends. Uh, I am a fan of the Discovery series in general. No, I do not buy all of them, but yes, I have had, you know, like four or five. I've had, yeah, five of the 11 that have been produced. Um, will I buy another Discovery Series? Absolutely, yes. Uh, not going to own all of them. I think they're released too frequently and they're $140 a piece. But when I do finish one, I will most certainly be looking to buy another one because I think that there is a decent amount of variation between each batch. 
which is an awesome thing for you to keep coming back and looking for new profiles. So Bar Sound Discovery Series for 130 bucks. Yeah, it is kind of up there, but I you know, kind of think that with the age statement on the bottles, the transparency, I do think they're kind of worth it. So yes, I will be buying another one of these. I'm actually, again, going to Bardstown next month and whatever, you know, the most recent batch is, you know, there, I will most likely be picking up that along with the Green River because those are fantastic. Um, keeping it in the same family, this is the Bardstown Triple Stave Finish. Now this is a distillery exclusive. This is part of the bottle your own experience. So the other year when I was at Bardstown, you know, you can pay for an additional experience. You bottle it yourself. You get a write on the label. They give you a card that goes along with it. You know, this is, you know, some older whiskey. That was, you know, blend. it was a three whiskey blend that was then finished in two different barrels. So there's this wild combination there. Like, all in all, is a $200 bottle that I had to pay for. Uh, was it good? Yeah, it was pretty good. Definitely, I don't think it was worth $200. When I go back there this year, I'm, I'm probably not going to do, I mean, I'm not probably, I'm not going to be doing that experience and spending $200 on this bottle again. Uh, I do think that the experience is really cool and I'm glad I did it. Um, again, you know, I just am not that big of a fan of, you know, like the port finishes and there was a port finish on that bottle, which is probably why um, <clears throat> it didn't, you know, you know, ring home with, you know, as high a praise as uh, you know, some of my other friends thought that this bottle was amazing. But again, those port finishes just aren't my cup of tea. Um, so no, I would not be buying another one of these triple save finished bar sounds. So that stinks. Okay. We got the Old Forcer Single Barrel Bell Proof. Yeah, definitely gonna be buying another one of these. I think these are screaming values. Again, going to Kentucky next month. So hopefully I can find one of those there. These bad boys are usually in that like 80 to a hundred dollar price point, depending on where you go. So I think under that, I think they're worth it. Uh, you know, heat cycled warehouses. These are only like four and a half, five years old. They are in that upper proof. They do drink a little bit hot, but on this bottle, I got a decent amount of like cherry sweetness on it. It was like a chocolate covered cherry was what this bottle was. So absolutely love it so definitely will be buying another one of these uh, it's not my favorite bottle like out there but it is a phenomenal bottle i know some people go bananas over this i just think it's fantastic and a bottle that if you can find them is worth having on your shelf next up is a russell's uh russell single barrel store pick so this one I actually got in Kentucky last year when I was there. Uh, will most certainly be looking to pick up another one of these when I'm back in Kentucky uh, next month. I think these bottles are fantastic. Um, they're right around that 110 proof. You know, I think they, they deliver a little bit of like that nutty, dusty, like funk note that you can get on wild turkey. I think these are like a brighter cherry for, for the most part. You don't get nearly as much oak of like rich oak like that is all Russell's 13. That is like the one note that's missing from these. Um, but yeah, overall, all in all, these are like in that like $75 price point now. Prices are ticking up. Um, but yeah, I think these are amazing values and I don't have one on the shelf because I just killed this one, but this is, this is one of the bottles that I'm looking to get when I go to Kentucky next month. So, yep, gotta have it. These are phenomenal bottles. If you haven't had one, honestly, just the regular single barrels are spectacular and found most places. Whoo, that was dangerous. Uh, Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. Would I buy it again? Uh, I mean, yes, I have bought one again since finishing this bottle, but I bought it to trade it away because I know so many people out there love this bottle way more than I do. Now, that said, I think that this is good. I just am not wildly blown away by the cigar blend. Um, I do think it's good, but for $175, I mean, there are just other bottles out there that I, I would rather buy. And honestly, now, kind of like with how many of these that are being released, like the secondary values on these have like really come down. 
So like even in trade value, getting like $200 for this is, you know, kind of just like about basically the cost of it after tax and everything. So like these are becoming not quite as good of a trade value bottle as they used to be. So I don't know. Anyways, uh, if you're a fan of these, that's awesome. I do think these are good. Uh, they just, you know, don't quite hit as home. Um, for me as they do with others. Maybe it's the finish. I you haven't really found too many finished whiskeys that are just like bangers in my opinion. Um, I actually did have the Chateau de Levade Bard Sound the other night and I thought that one actually was uh, pretty solid. So um, anyways guys, so the Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend, uh, I'd probably pass on buying it to drink for myself, but uh, if I found it at MSRP at that 175, I'd probably pick it up for trade because these a lot of people do like trading for these. Anyways, so garbage. And we got two left. The Four Roses Single Barrel Barrel Strength. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy these all day, every day. Honestly, $100 and less. I, I don't care how many of these I have. I will always walk out of the store with it. I can never have enough of these. Uh, I have uh, two more that are unopened right now. So those are gonna be ready to go here really soon. And when I go to Kentucky, uh, hopefully I can find some more of these. But honestly, I haven't really had too much luck finding these. I know that they're, you know, put out at the distillery. You know, I go there every year and I still haven't been lucky enough to get one, um, <clears throat> you know, from, from the distillery. And honestly, a lot of the stores out in Kentucky like have them like marked up at like 199. And I do love these, but not for $200. Um, they are produced enough that you should be able to find them, you know, with a little bit of like, you know, effort, um, like a couple times a year for like 110 or less. So like, that's kind of like my bugaboo there. Like for me, uh, $100 or less, I'll buy it every time, regardless of how many I have on the shelf. Because I think that this is like my personal favorite bottle out there, I think with the the 10 different, um, you know, basically mash bill yeast combinations. I think they're spectacular. I've had majority of them and I really enjoy all of them. Um, but anyways, uh, screaming by again. And the last bottle is a Jack Daniels 12 year. Yeah, obviously yeah, this is a screaming by again. Uh, I think what are these like $90 now or 85, something like that at retail. Uh, gonna have to get really lucky, honestly, to find one of these at $85. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it just kind of like, is this bottle worth, you know, the double retail? I mean, probably it drinks in that, that category, but you start getting up into like the $200 price point, like on secondary in it. I feel like so many bottles are like getting up there now. I just, it's really hard to spend $200 on like, you know, bottles of bourbon. I don't know. At least it is for me, but it just kind of like, I know a lot of places will sell this for $200 and then like for your first one, I don't know. Like, yeah, I mean, if you know, you're never going to like be able to find one any other way, I guess, you know, it, it'd be worth it for your first, but I definitely wouldn't be buying a second one of those. Um, I did actually trade for a backup of one of these. So like if you can trade for one of these and spend less than $150 on the bottles that you're trading, to get one, I think that that's probably a great value um, to pick one of these up. I love this bottle though. It made it into my top 10 of 2023. Hopefully I can grab a batch too, but not holding my breath for that one. I uh, would really have to get lucky because I'm not going to spend 200 plus dollars to get one. Anyways, guys, these are the bottle kills. These are the bottles I've been drinking. The majority of them, yes, I would buy again, but a handful of them, I wouldn't. Let me know in the comments down below, would you buy these bottles again? And if you would, you know, can you find them at MSR Free? My name's Tanner. This is Neat Bourbon. And as always, pop the bottles and share the force. And we'll see you in the next one.